Yeah, all right, it's vlog number six. I thought I'd start off today with a little fact. Did you know that you can't read Braille with the end of your knob because it's only got protopathic nerves in it? I, I didn't know that. I didn't even know there was protopathic nerves, but and I'd never really wondered why you couldn't read Braille with your knob, and that's probably not the only reason why you shouldn't be reading Braille with your knob. You only ever really see Braille on medication as well, so it'd be a bit even weirder to be like rubbing your dick along the box of paracetamol, or is this? It's paracetamol or ibuprofen, so that's probably not the only reason why, but still, interesting. Oh, in a lift as well, you have a lot of braille in a lift, don't you? And you don't really want to be rubbing your knob on a lift button. Anyway, what I did yesterday was I uh, was able to upload me pictures of the elephant that I've made out of rats and mice, and if you've not seen that yet, go and have a look at my previous posts, because I think you might like them, they, they might, you might really enjoy them. Um, I think the cat's munch is quite going to get in the way of the video again today. Nope, she's fucked off. Awesome. Um, what else did I make yesterday? What did I actually make yesterday? I made another rat's head bauble. So I've updated that. There's now one of them available again on the website. Uh, www.worldaroundyou.com uh, And I also made teddy rat skins. Which is a little puppet made out of a teddy bear's head and a rat. And today I'm going to do some really fucking weird stuff. And I may, you know, I'm, I think I'm going to do it all on live stream. I think, I think I'm going to do it on live stream. So that's something to look forward to. I, I think it's going to be the weirdest thing I've made so far. Well, a selection of the weirdest things I've made so far. I'm going to be using a new medium. It's still skin, still animal skin, but this is going to be something special, I think. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, and yesterday as well, I said that I would uh, tell you about the little uh, story to do with what made me kind of think there must be something like ghosts. So I thought I'd, I'd recap on that. So it was we were this. I was discussing, you know, the multiverse thing with the different layers of universes and they poke through or whatever. And um, but the, the the only in my mum and dad's old house where I used to live with, where I used to live with them, they had um, it was weird. There was something weird about it. like at night time you could hear horses like. Like that, you know, like trotting past the house. There's no fucking horses around. And you could hear what sounded like bowling balls being thrown down cobbled paths. And there was no cobbled paths or bowling enthusiasts on that road. So I don't know what that was. Maybe it was just a problem with the guttering dripping onto the porch. Possibility. But something that I definitely can't explain is this. I was sat playing uh, Call of Duty with me mate over over internet. My mate wasn't with me, unfortunately, because it'd be fucking awesome if he was, because I could go, this happened, didn't it? And then I looked through the doorway, and the, the door was slightly ajar, so you could see a little gap, like, this hand here is the light, like, say this hand's the door, and then this hand is the gap between the door and the door frame, there's about that much gap there, like, two fingers worth, which, you know, two fingers, that's normally enough, but um, there was a light, the light shone through this gap, and the light didn't fill the whole gap in the door, man. It just looked like it was literally about, like, probably about head height, so maybe, like, six foot, maybe five, between five, ten and six foot, I would say, sort of around that area. And then that light itself, it got shorter, and then it got longer again. And I felt a bit brave, you know. And my mum and dad had had things happen in this house, like, they kept hearing someone going, yes, like that when they'd ask a question or when they'd talk to themselves. So they say, I never heard that, though, I had never heard that. But yeah, I saw this light move and it dropped down and it looked like a shoulder and then it looked like it genuinely looked like it fucking was a head and then it it stayed there as if it was watching me and I really felt like there was someone watching me, which is a fucking weird thing to say. And um, then I, I got brave and I said to me, mate, there's something fucking weird going on here. And I said, I, I'm going to, just a second, and I took my earpiece out, my microphone off my ear and then the cat's trying to get out of the window. And then I took the microphone off my ear the little talking bit, and then I said, um, if there's something there, do something funny, make me laugh, and without a word of a fucking lie, it'd be weird if it happens now behind me, it'd look like a fucking fix, but yeah, the cupboard door, so the airing cupboard door, you stuck, the airing cupboard door, swung open, bounced off the wall, which is always on a little, it was on a little latch, like it was an old house, like from, it was built in like 1914, 1918 or something, during World War One. Uh, anyway, it, the door had this metal latch, and it, like a like a mortise lock, I guess, but no key, just a twist, and that was always closed. And that door bounced off the wall, still attached by the hinges, but fucking swung open anyway. And a towel fell out, and then landed, 
a round me pint of coke and i know it was a pint of coke because that's pretty much all i drink is is coca-cola so it, it fell out and landed around it but it was coiled me it was like something had got it and gone like this coiled it up and it landed around the glass now what's fucked is my mum's quite pedantic my mum is quite pedantic about the cupboards she always folds the towels and puts them in she would never fucking wind it up like that and throw it in there and it's just weird that it happened immediately as i said if there's something there you know do something funny make me laugh now humor is very subjective i didn't find it funny in the slightest I found it kind of weird and it freaked me out. So what I did was I uh, quit my game immediately, uh, turned it off at the wall, went downstairs and slept in the living room and listened to the sounds of horses, which also didn't exist. So that was a pretty weird night, but I told you I'd tell you something about that, you know, that kind of thing. I told you about seeing that man with the axe and that. But I don't really, like I said, I don't really believe in ghosts. I don't know what I believe in as such. I'm not particularly spiritual or outlook. I don't think that they're... Uh, that it's us when we die, we become a ghost and we get about in like fucking Edwardian clothing or Victorian clothing and be like, Ooh, following people down the stairs and pushing fuckers down the stairs. That's just mad. But there must be something in it. But anyway, that's that's the uh, the daily vlog. So today, look out for me other live streams. I'll do them. Um, I'll upload this to YouTube. Uh, I'm trying to think. You've got the new listings at the minute mystery boxes as well if you want a mystery box i'd rather you order it through etsy because then it pushes me up the ratings on etsy because they've added loads of new stuff saying oh if you have free postage and all this you'll get pushed up the listings so obviously I've, I've done that but everyone else will have done that as well so really i'm just we're all just starting back at square one now so it's got to be rebuilt all again so that would be helpful if someone wants to buy something go that way but um yeah thanks i'll uh, see you in a bit guys